Jets. I am going on year seven with the New York Jets. Uh, also, I'm from here, right here in the Birmingham area. I was born and raised in the Birmingham, Birmingham area. I went to Phillips High School. It was now closed, so it's Carver High School now. Um, but first of all, I want to uh, give the parents a, a round of applause. getting your kids signed up for the reading program and uh, bringing them out to have a good time tonight and enjoy uh, just being out with everyone, everyone here tonight. And uh, well, for the kids, I want to thank you guys for, for listening to your parents and becoming, uh, becoming a part of the reading program. I think, I don't want this to be a one-shot deal with you guys who just signed up for the reading program and then you know, participate in the camp and, and be down with the program. I want to encourage you to continue to be a part of the reading program. One thing I want to say, one thing uh, I want to say about the Cochrane Foundation is what, uh, is why we're here tonight. Uh, oh, I want, I can't leave out the Birmingham Public Library. They do a great job with the reading program and they, they allowed us at the Cochrane Foundation to become a part of that. And, uh, have encouraged you kids to uh, have encouraged you guys to become a part of the reading program. So I want to give a round of applause for that. The Cochrane Foundation, what it's about is it's basically to inspire you guys to become whatever you want to be. Now, how many in here uh, know what you want to be when you grow up? If you, don't, if, you don't know, if you don't know what you want to be when you grow up, I encourage you right now to start thinking about those things. The earlier, the better. For me, it started at age seven. Well, I, I, said, I said to my parents that you know, I wanted to be in the NFL. And my parents told me, son, you can be, you can, you can be anybody you want to be. You, you can be that accomplished. And I took that to, uh, to heart and I worked hard every day and it went a long time. You know, I had a couple of uh, hiccups, but I was able to get back focused and uh, reach my ultimate goal. One thing I want to say to you, when you set goals at an early age, when you set these goals at an early age, you know there's going to be a process that you have to go through to reach that ultimate goal. Now, there's going to be things along the way that are trying to knock you off your path to get to that ultimate goal. So you have to ignore those things and continue striving. Every day, Every day in your life should be a step toward that ultimate goal. Now, if you don't make a step toward that ultimate goal every day, you're wasting your time. You know, so you're or you're wasting you're wasting the day. So that should be your focus every day. And one thing I would say that that ultimate goal, that ultimate goal that you set for yourself, it won't be anything. With, uh, it won't mean anything if you're not doing well in school. So for me, I was a great student up until maybe the seventh grade, sort of slacking a little bit, picked it up, eighth grade, but my ninth and tenth grade years, I slacked. I slacked in school and I almost lost everything. I almost, you know, you wouldn't be able to see me here today if I hadn't picked it up my last few years. So I had to get focused, I had to get focused and um, it took a, a tragic accident to get me back, to get my mindset back focused. You know, so I want you guys to, to stay focused along the way. I don't want you to go through something that that's tragic to get your mind focused back on your, on your schoolwork and then focus on, on what you want to become in life. You know, so every day, every day should be a step towards your goal. If you're not doing that, you're wasting the day, like I said. When we talk about the reading program, some of you guys may think reading, man, reading, reading is boring and all of these things, but the reason we stress the importance of reading is because reading is it's going to be an important part of your life. It's, it's going to be a part of your life for the rest of your life. For all you guys that want to play football, you want to play football, and especially the quarterback, there's a lot of information a lot of information that you have to learn in order to be able to uh, succeed on the football field. For instance, 
before practice, before practice, we may install 50 pass plays. Maybe 30 minutes before practice or so. We may install 50, pa uh, 50 pass plays. And within every play, there's like three adjustments for one player. You know, you have to adjust to the different cut, the many different covers that they go up against every play. And once we get those plays before practice, we have to go out there and we have to know all of the plays. We have to be able to play fast and know all of the plays, all of the adjustments. And if you don't do that, you lose your spot, you lose your spot in the NFL, and you don't have a job. You know, so there's a lot of information that you have to learn. There's a lot of information you have to read and comprehend and be able to, to, uh, to uh, go back on that information and, and know exactly what to do. So it's going to be a, a big part of your life. And especially, I know everyone wants to sign a big contract and have a lot of money for your family. You're going to have to learn how to read contracts. So uh, if you don't know how to read contracts, you're going to lose a lot of money. A lot of people are going to get over on you. And, uh, that's not, the, that's not the way you want to operate. So my main focus for you guys, I just want to come back here and I love you guys, Birmingham, Alabama. I, it's all through, it's all through. I want to come down here and support you guys, inspire you guys every year to be ever with whatever you want to be. It doesn't have to be a sports, a sport, a professional sports player. You can be whoever you want to be. Don't, don't let any negative influences circumstances that you may be in and dictate your future. You can be anything you want to be, you know, so that's what I want to leave you guys with tonight. I'm going to come back every year, God willing, and let you guys continue to come out, and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep inspiring. So thank everybody for coming out tonight and being a part of this event.